Hey guys, I'm back with another video today. Today we're going to be doing the subscription boxes. So I'm going to be reviewing the Parakeet subscription box and the Kawaii Slime Company subscription box. Now in this video, I will be able to tell you which one is better for the price and what I think about them. It's going to be quite a cool video. I'm very interested in it. I'm excited that I purchased these. Also, as always, please subscribe to my channel for exclusive content and hit that like button. Also, leave a comment. Don't be afraid. I like commenting back about my shop. A lot of you don't know, i am changed my name to The Mako Slimery. I am still working on everything. It takes quite a bit of time to get that all done and I'm busy with work, so this work and the shop is quite hard to deal with. So, yeah, just be patient with me and I'll have some awesome deals when I bring it back up. After this video, you gotta tell me which one you liked better. You gotta, yeah, give me feedback, guys, come on. Anyway, uh, let's get in. I'm gonna start off with packaging and unboxing. So Kawaii subscription box costed me 48.68 USD. This package took about two weeks to arrive and came in their normal pink box. Opening this box, everything came wrapped very nice and came with a card telling me everything in this box. This kit did not include slime softener or a slime care sheet. This package contained five ounces of cake batter slime, three ounces of strawberry syrup slime, and three ounces of a whipped cream slime. This also included a charm for, for my slime with sprinkles and the toys in this package are an ice cream plush and an ice cream pen. Let's move on to Parakeet's subscription box. This costed me 54 USD and took about a week to arrive. This actually came in another box and I didn't show it in the clip, but the box just had her subscription box as well as a little baggie of clay. This package came with her care sheet, borax, candies, package contents, uh, as well as a Parakeet pin. I've never ever seen someone have these, so that was pretty cool. The slimes I received were six ounces, and they are Oreo milk, tea baba, fruit sorbet, fruit loop butter. Overall, I do love Kawaii's packaging more. They put a lot of time and effort into their packages, so let's get into the slime. Let's start off with cake batter slime. This is a cream colored cloud cream, and it came with circle confetti pieces in the slime. It was a nice texture, but the scent of the slime threw me off. It kind of smelled like chemicals more than I could smell the cake scent. It kind of almost smelled like a store-bought slime in comparison. This slime came with these little heart containers and ice cream cup to assemble the slime in. The strawberry syrup slime is a beautiful red clear slime. This smelled amazing. I wish I could have a whole container of this slime. I am assembling this as I go, so, you know, this could probably be way better, but it's me. The whipped cream clay slime was more of like a very thick clay texture, but it also smelled really good. Here's my finished Sunday look. How do you like it? Now let's destroy it. This slime smelled a lot, a lot better as soon as I added the other slimes into it. The only thing I really hate is these containers. I know they are cute, but I'd rather a more durable container than a cute container. This slime ended up turning into a great slime texture and inflated so much. I got a total of 11 ounces of slime.
Let's move on to Parakeet's fruity sorbet. This is a bright orange jelly slime. This came with a bunch of fruit female slices. It smelled like a fruity punch kind of smell, but with a lot of orange scent into it. This slime got a little sticky when playing with it, but it is very typical with jelly slimes. This slime tripled in size and got so sizzly and fluffy when it inflated. Fruit Loops butter is a butter slime. When I picked up this container, I was very surprised on how light this was. Parakeet recently released her own line of clay, which I'm assuming this is the clay for this butter slime. This slime smelled exactly like Fruit Loops and this inflated a ton. She probably used a clear glue base for this slime. What I liked about this is I could inflate it and then once I squished all the bubbles out, I could deflate it and get it back into the container. Oreo milk tea baba is a thick and glossy slime. This is a white base with a whole bunch of black speckles in it. This has three boba balls in it. I kind of wish it had uh, more boba balls, but that's what it came with. If you haven't already seen it, shout out to myself. You should go watch my uh, parakeet slime shop review. This slime is a lot like cereal milk, which is my absolute favorite texture. This Oreo scent is just amazing and I could just squish this slime all day. In total, I got 18 ounces of slime from Parakeet. I think overall it matters on what you prefer. Kawaii's subscription box is $8 cheaper but came with less slime. Parakeet's came with more slime but no toys or slime charms. In my opinion, even though Kawaii had better packaging and price, I'd prefer Parakeet's subscription box more for faster dispatch and more slime. Please let me know if you guys like this video. Tell me if I should keep doing these a battle of subscription boxes. As always, please subscribe to my channel, mash that like button, and keep leaving comments. I love all your comments. So I'll see you guys next time.